Hello everybody, Lurks here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to stop a silicone or decorator's cork tube from drying out after you've used it. This is in my garage here and here's my silicone and decorator's cork and you'll notice in here I've got some polythene, some tin foil, a rubber glove and some tape. So that'll give you a little clue. It's typical, you're just doing a bit of decorating then you urgently get called away. Lurks, this seems to be water leaking in the kitchen. So you want to seal this up so it's ready to use on a different day. You can spend your money on these end caps but my preferred method is coming up now. Take a rubber glove that you're not going to be needing anymore, cut off the finger, ouch. Keep the rubber glove because you may need the other fingers in the future. Just squeeze a tiny bit of decorator's cork out of the end of the nozzle, then take your rubber finger, put that over the end. And then holding it with your fingers, just squirt a bit more silicone or decorator's cork into the rubber glove. This basically gets rid of any air pockets. Then just take some tape, I've just got some masking tape here, but any tape will do, even something like sellotape. And then just wrap that round really tightly. And because you've got some silicone or decorator's cork inside that rubber finger, that's just going to prevent it from drying out. Right, the next stage is to unscrew the nozzle, obviously anti-clockwise. This is attached to the thread, so you might just want to cut that off. And you can use tin foil, but that may degrade. So what I do is I just use a bit of polythene. This can be a sandwich bag or any polythene bag from a supermarket. Cut out a small square. And then you need to squirt out some decorator's cork or silicon, about three or four millimeters, so it's sticking out. Then put your polythene over the end. Then take your nozzle. Put it on that thread, screw that back on clockwise. And that has now created an airtight seal on the actual main tube and also the silicon and the decorator's cork that you've got stored inside the nozzle. And that is ready to be used again. I best get onto that leak in the kitchen my wife's calling again. Yes. But before I do that, I'm definitely gonna have a quick cup of tea. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.